eight music mad teenagers set out on the experience of a lifetime working behind the scenes of the music business with some of the biggest names in pop. It was absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't do the gig, I'd pull the gig. And now, only three remain in the competition to win a work placement with the Irish music mogul, Louis Walsh. The music business is tough business, it's dog eat dog. Give it up for content spaces! Roy and Sonia won last week's Battle of the Bands, <laughs> with Una surviving elimination to join them in the semi-final find out that I was going through, I actually couldn't believe it, I was shocked. Where they are tasked to design brand new merchandise for global superstars, The Wanted. He had a lot of really good ideas there combined. I really like it. Find out who can walk the walk. Give us a little tour on why. And whose hopes are sinking fast, as the multi-million selling boy band, JLS, await them in the grand final. I'm here now, I'm in the final three. I just want it so badly. The two of the girls are both tough cookies, but I do anything to get into the finals, absolutely anything. This is Music Inc. Just three competitors remain in the competition to win a work placement with the Irish music mogul, Louis Walsh. And now they are just one step away from the grand final of Music Inc. I am shocked that I'm in the semi-final. Absolutely shocked, like I can't believe I got here. It is a dream, like I honestly didn't think I'd get this far. It's been amazing. In and Royal, like they're such great competitors. It's so scary being against them. Liam has called them to the O2 Arena, Dublin's mecca of pop, to receive their penultimate challenge. Congratulations, guys. You're the three semi-finalists. Well done on making it this far. The music business is a business like any other business, and to make real money, artists these days have to look beyond selling records and concert tickets. Merchandising is a massive part of the music business. Beyonce, Britney, Pink, and One Direction have all sold hundreds of thousands of euros worth of merchandise right here, and setting this week's challenge is one of the world's biggest boy bands, <laughs> The Wanted. Oh my God! Come and have a look at this. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the semi-final of Music Inc. Here's the challenge you will need to win in order to make it to the final. We want you to design a brand new product for our international website. It has to be something unique that our fans wouldn't have seen before and would want to buy, so make sure you do your research. We're playing a gig in Cork this Sunday and we'll be judging the winning product before the show starts. Good luck! That's not the only part of this challenge. One of the biggest sellers on any merchandise stall is t-shirts. So I want you three to come up with a brand new t-shirt design specific to the Cork Marquee gig. You ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, let's go. The contestants will be brainstorming their ideas in the arena's VIP lounge. And on the way, Liam gives them an exclusive backstage tour, including a special treat for Roy. Now Roy, I know you're a fan. This dress room was Cheryl Coles. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> she sat on my couch. She did. You got in it. I don't she wash her face in that sink rug. <gasps> Come on, she <laughs> <girl. laughs> <laughs> <Got> all right. <laughs> Roy could be one of Cheryl Cole's biggest fans, and Liam is giving them each their own super fan of the Wanted to help market research their unique product. Molly once wanted to leave a Westlife concert before they even performed because she only went to the gig to see the Wanted support them. Ashling has a countdown clock to all the Wanted's concerts. Kira wants to listen to Glad You Came on repeat over 100 times in a row. Liam wants them to take a variety of ideas to their super fans. But Sonia is struggling to think of even one. I was just like stumped. No ideas were coming to me. And I was just trying to think about the Wanted. As she walks like Rihanna, I just went with shoes. It's the first thing that came to my head. Sonia has thought of the basketball type shoe that's branded with the Wanted, which is perfect. I know that for a fact that most bands sell quite a lot of shoes. Una, as always on this one, she's straight out of the blocks. She's banging out ideas. Cat hat, um, yeah. a watch, coffee cup, toothbrush and a level. Them. So I was kind of just thinking, like, what would I want? Um, Good idea. How are you getting on? Good, I have a few ideas. Anything jumping out at you? The kind of cap and the bracelet. So a cap like a baseball cap? Yeah, like a snap cap with TWS and the Wanted. Roy, I thought he'd come up with better ideas. It's like a charm bracelet, and you know, like Caterplex has a picture of each of them. Mm -hmm. But then a love heart in the middle with TW in it. Okay. And there's nothing jumping off that page that's saying to me, this is what you should be going with. It could be hit or miss for him on this one. Liam might not be convinced with Roy's product idea, but it's the Wanted fans who would be buying the merchandise. So Sonia, Una and Roy head off to meet three of their biggest followers. 
Ashling sounds like a much bigger fan than myself because she knows like exactly what their kind of brand is, what kind of look they go for, what the fans will be looking for in a piece of merchandise. Hello. Hi. I'm Una. Hi, you must be Sonia. Do you want to come see my posters? All of wanted stuff. I have that poster at home as well. <laughs> so I have a little test here. Just to make sure you are a complete okay. super fan. <laughs> what are the full names of all the five members of the Wanted? Siva Keynes Warren. Jay McGuinness. Max George. Tom Parker. Nathan Sykes. What is the name of the Wanted's American TV show? The Wanted Life. Perfect. Which member of the band has um, the little name Carlos? Jay. Yep. How many brothers and sisters does Sylvia have? He has six brothers and two sisters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to do yeah. that on my head. <laughs> Definitely a super fan. You got 10 out of 10. Yes. <laughs> now, as certified super fans, the semi finalists canvass their opinion on all of their product ideas. Or in Sonia's case, her only product idea. I was thinking of um, shoes for walks like Rihanna. Oh, yeah, that's such a good idea. You think? Yeah, that's a really good idea. Thank God she liked it and she had loads of ideas for the show, which really helped me out a lot. High tops and stuff are really in, it would be cool. And if they were your favourite band and stuff, yeah. then it would. I think it would look really good. So. Oh, that's good. What about toothbrush? Now, say if we'd like five different toothbrushes and you could collect them all, each one was represented each member. So you could have like their face on the back here. It's a clever idea, but I wouldn't really want to be putting their like faces in my mouth. Okay. On some high tops, the way they fold down, you could have the wanted on that bit. Any more ideas? Give me them all. <laughs> a bracelet, but like chains. Yeah. Okay. And in the middle, a love heart with the wanted done in diamonds. So oh. like Tina W. Right, the lava lamp. So we've got little faces of the fellas floating around in it. Do you like that? Yeah, that's so clever. Yeah. I love that, yeah. Which is like your favourite? Probably that one. The bracelet. The, bracelet. the coffee cup, because I know these are really in at the moment. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Oh, really? It wouldn't have to be for coffee. It could be for hot yeah, chocolate or exactly. tea. exactly. What I one would you personally go out and buy if I had all those in front if of you? you had, oh, I'd probably get either... Yeah, I'd say I'd get the lava lamp. OK. I'd buy the coffee cup. Would you? OK. Yeah. <sighs> right, that was really, really helpful. Definitely narrowed it down from quite a big selection, but the cup and the uh, lava lamp, I'm not sure which one to go for. This afternoon, the semi-finalists will be working with the designers of the Dublin Institute of Technology to help bring their merchandise ideas to life. The main things I want from it is that I want their little faces floating around inside it. And Liam arrives to discover that Una has decided to develop a premium product. After meeting the fans, she decided that actually the lava lamp was the idea that she wanted to go with. Now, whether or not she's picked the right one is yet to be seen. Her impression of the lava Right, so they're like, what, cartoon character yeah, faces exactly. rather than their actual picture? Yeah, kind of okay, focusing cool. in on their features, like mainly their hair. All right, so you're going to get a real lava lamp and put them into mm. it? Cool. Initially, that didn't jump out at me. Having said that, she's now developed quite a good product, actually, you know, and I think she could end up with something quite good in that. So you went to see your super fan this morning? Yeah, we're going with a high top, and then when you fold it down, it's going to say the wanted. Yeah, I like the overall idea of doing a shoe. There's a big market for it. <laughs> um, it's just getting the shoe right and the design. Yeah. That's the important thing. OK, so this is your unique product? Yeah. What was this? This was the idea for a hat? Yeah, that was the hat. Your fan didn't like that? Yeah, no, she preferred the bracelet more. It's kind of unique, the bracelet. Is it, though? Well. When you go to the like, license, you kind of get yokes like this, you know, yeah, the rubber ones. They have bracelets already, right? But the chain ones are nicer because what you can do in the future is you can get other wanted charms and click them onto your bracelet. Okay. And even the lads could go along the lines of designing their own charm as well. Mm -hmm. Like kind of what girls allowed it. The second part of the merchandise challenge is to create a limited edition t shirt for the Wanted's Cork Marquee gig and they're working up their initial designs. So I have the wanted symbol in the middle of the t-shirt and I want to incorporate the marquee kind of symbols. Una's design for the t-shirt is really strong. She's hit the nail right on the head. You can actually see that her sketches are basically what you're seeing on the screen. Good, it's nice and clean, simple, yeah. exactly. specific to the marquee. Yeah, you've really taken the brief on that one, that's good. We have um, the wanted done at the front and there's Certain letters that are in caps will have the picture of each of the lads, mm -hmm. and the rest is in red. Roy's t-shirt, while it's quite a cool looking t-shirt and he's going for quite a cool fashion idea, it's not really specific to the marquee. Did you choose red or why? I chose red because I like, well, red will stand out. Why? No, because I thought you were being clever. Red is the colour for cork, but you obviously haven't decided on oh, that. Oh, I never thought that into a white no. t-shirt. It just happened by coincidence. You don't yeah. get bonus points for that. Oh. Where Roy is missing the brief of delivering a design specifically for the Wanted's Cork Marquee gig, Sonia is missing the band themselves. We didn't um, want to make it like too fussy or... It looks like a t-shirt for the Marquee, not for the Wanted. 
I mean, I know the Wanted logo is there, but that's literally all that there is. You take out that graphic and mm -hmm. you could sell that at the Ollie Moore's gig, Little Mix gig. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You make it more specific to the band somehow. Yeah. So I'll leave you to it, OK? You've got work to do. When I pointed out that she maybe needed to add a little bit to it, she panicked. And it's a simple thing that she can change, you know? We don't know what to do with it, because the picture just doesn't work and... The picture doesn't work with this style. I mean, it doesn't look overly bad. It just looks bad. I don't know. I think we're just going to have to have a play around and throw a few ideas in. OK. Still to come on Music Inc. The semi-finalists strut their stuff on the catwalk. Give us a little twirl, boy. Ahead of the gig in Cork. And the wanted judge their merchandise. I think fans would like it. How many fans would afford this? Before deciding who claims a direct place in the grand final of Music Inc. And the winner is... Roy, Sonia and Una are competing for just two places in the grand final of Music Inc. They have been challenged to create a brand new piece of merchandise for the wanted. It has to be something unique that our fans wouldn't have seen before and would want to buy. Good luck! And a limited edition t-shirt for their gig in Cork. After spending six weeks working behind the scenes of the music business together, the final three have become close friends and they've even started coordinating their wardrobes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your glasses. <laughs> Let's be best friends. <laughs> oh. Sonia, do us your Roy impersonation while you're at it. Oh my god, I love Saturdays and like, oh, Liam, like, they're so silly. And, oh, guys. I couldn't see if she did look like me or not because she took my glasses off me and I, I couldn't really see. It was a bit blurry. Isn't that right, Roy? <laughs> <laughs> this morning, they are printing samples of their limited edition t shirts. Oh, that's good. So I want to change something. The writing's too far up. Before returning to DIT to finalise their designs. We went through it and like, we changed a lot of it again. And we added a silhouette of the five boys. You know, I'm really, really happy with it now. The one tit. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. The rest of the day is spent making the prototypes of their unique products that will be presented to the wanted. I was thinking maybe if you put like four boom beams, because there's four in the cars, and like just add different colours. I'm really happy to be meeting the wanted and showing them something that I've put an awful lot of effort and thought into. It'd be better like if you put like loads of TWs for the wanted all on it. Tomorrow off down to Cork to see the wanted and to present them. It kind of dawned on me that perhaps these little plastic figures of the wanted that we put in might start to melt. I don't think the wanted would be very happy to see their faces melting in front of their eyes, but hopefully we'll work our way around it. So I'm really looking forward to meeting them. I do like a bit of boy band, I do. The semi-finalists are in Cork. The Wanted will pick their favourite unique product before the sellout gig this evening. But first, their limited edition t-shirts will be judged by the fans that will be at the concert. As fans of The Wanted, we think that you guys are the best people to judge our t-shirt competition, all right? The design they had to come up with was an, an exclusive design for Cork Marquee gig, all right? So keep that in mind when you're looking at the design. Please welcome Roy! <laughs> Give us a little twirl, Roy. Loving it. Well done. Una! Nice work. It's Sonia! Sound nice. Don't break your neck. Keep going. Nice. I love it. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Oh my god, I nearly fell like the whole time. He's like, do another one, do another one. Like, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you these cards, okay? And it's got each of the three designs on them, and it's got Roy, Sonia, and Una. So each of you are going to have to vote for your number one, number two, and number three, okay? The votes are cast, and the result will be revealed after tonight's gig. Sonia, Roy and Una are preparing for the most important pitch of the competition so far. They don't know it, but whoever the wanted judge to have made the best product will win an immediate place in the grand final of Music Inc.
How are you doing, Sonia? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thanks. Well, I am a huge fan, and I wanted to create something that other fans would get really excited about. So your number one, she walks like Rihanna. So I thought it'd be really good to have a shade so everyone can walk like Rihanna. And <laughs> there's different styles, you know, this one here, obviously, and then you can have this with the wanted logo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Here is also a charm on the eyelet, so it's for like any gig, obviously we have it here, you know, for Cork, London, San Diego, Chicago. Okay. So okay. they're collectible. Okay. And also at the list is their customizable. We have Jay and we have Max. Good choice. So. Good choice, yeah. Where's mine? Well, they're yeah. on the other ones. <laughs> I really believe in this product and I know it'd be a great hit just like the song. I have full faith in it and I hope you do too. Thank Cheers. you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Like I'm actually I'm still shaking. This um, is cool. It is cool. I like the fold down. I think fans would like it. Yeah, I'd yeah they would. I think fans would wear it. I'd wear it if it said J on it. Thanks, mate. Hello. 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 My product is a linked charm bracelet. It has five different guitar plex with pictures of each of these on it, which lets the fans know that you're there 24 7 for them. Then there is three guitar plex with Cork 2013 on one side. You could put New York 2013, London 2013. Fans can swap and change charms from different gigs, which brings fans closer together. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the bracelet. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks very much, mate. I thought it went really well. You know, I was happy with everything I said. I forgot two things that I really wanted to say, but I don't mind it. Swapping and bringing the fans closer together. I really like uh, it. He had a lot of really good ideas there combined. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. Hello. 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 My reasons for the choice of the lava lamp is that it's unique, it's different, and I don't think it's ever been done before, so I think it's a real gap in the market, you know? And I think it also really catches your eye, you know? If you saw that in the show, you'd be like, oh, I want to buy, that's really different. And my idea is to have the little faces, like your little cartoon faces floating around inside it. They're each are distinguishable by their hairstyles, you know, you've got like uh, Jay's curly locks and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I put them in here earlier, but unfortunately, because they're quite thick uh, plastic, they've sank down to the bottom and they've also kind of been eaten up by the lab inside it. <laughs> so uh, that's not really that good. With further experimentation, I think it could really work. Obviously, this is just a prototype. That's why you don't have the little face floating around. Thanks, okay, you great. Thanks very much, guys. Thank See you. ya. Thank you. It's hard to tell, you know, whether they liked it or not. I think yeah. it is very unique, and we have, like, with the session. You've certainly got a unique down. The biggest concern, I think, is, is how many fans will afford this, like, off the cuff. That's going to be more like a Christmas gift, mm. yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely love to get to the final, so <laughs> hope they like it. Hi. Hello. It was a really tough decision. They were all, all three of them fantastic. But we've chosen our winner, and the winner is... Sonia. Congratulations. <laughs> and you are going straight to the grand final. Congratulations, Sonia. <laughs> I'm buzzing out. Oh, final. Oh my god. I'm so relieved. But like I just like I'm in there. I feel like I'm really scared for Ina and Roy, obviously, but like I'm just so excited. Like <laughs> So congratulations again. Well done. You get a little treat. You're gonna get to go and see the wanted tonight. You're gonna go and get to go and watch the concert. But you two, unfortunately, are gonna be working. You two are going head to head in a sales challenge to find out which of you is gonna be making it through to the final along with Sonia. Oh my god! Massive big bombshell now. Like me and Roy are going to go on head to head to sell stuff at the gig. It's me and you know it's 50-50. You know you're just one step away from getting into the final, and I'm going to do whatever I have to to get to that place. I really want that place in the final. I will do anything. Let's bring it on. In it to win it. To claim a place in the grand final with Sonia, Una, or Roy must now win at least two of three mini merchandise tests as well as the result of the limited edition t-shirt vote. Liam will carry out his own poll of which unique product the Wanted's fans like best. And they will also be competing in a t-shirt sales task. Sonia, I've got an Access All Areas Pass for you. Congratulations as the winner. I'll see you later, have a good night. Now you two, you're gonna be right there selling the merchandise to over 5,000 people. Oh, brilliant, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna be counting the number of t-shirts that you sell. Good luck. Oh, it's huge. Again, I feel really sorry for the guys having to sell t-shirts, but um, I'm in here, so. <laughs> As the gates open for the gig and the fans flood in, the battle to sell the most t-shirts begins. T-shirts! Get your t-shirts! t-shirts! Five euro! T-shirts, anyone? Get your t-shirts! T-shirts! Badges for five, key rings for three. No. Do you want a t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. She's looking for a uh, small. Small white yeah. or black? Yeah, uh, white. White. Thanks a million. 25, 25, 25 yeah. 25. 
Do you want t-shirts or anything? Go on. Keyring, yeah? Three euro, please. It's on a t-shirt. There you go. There's your four and there's your two keyring. No bother. And if you want a t-shirt, come back. Thanks a million. We did a little question there. These are three new designs from Wanted Merchandise Products, OK? Which one are you most likely to buy? Lava lamp, a pair of shoes, and a charm bracelet. Which one would you pick? The charm bracelet, yeah. both of you. With the shoes. Shoes again. The bracelet. Bracelet again. The trainers. Three votes for the trainers. And the lava lamp, I'd say. Yeah, you buy the lava lamp? lamp? Yeah, I'd say so, I don't know. Finally. The lava one lamp. One vote. This isn't going well for Una. I hope she's selling a lot of t-shirts, because this isn't going well. She's got one vote so far. Medium, yeah? 25 euros. Yeah. Thanks a million. 25 euros, please. Perfect. Enjoy the concert. Thank you. They're actually really working hard, aren't they? Yeah. Roy. Roy. Roy, you want a chip? Cheers. <laughs> You've only got a few minutes left. You have until the very start of the show, okay? So the minute they want to come on stage, that's it. Game over, all right? T-shirts, anyone? There you go. Thanks a million. Is that right? Yeah. It's lovely. Thanks a million. Enjoy the concert. Tonight I feel invincible. I think that's it, Roy. There's actually like nobody around. May the best man win then. <laughs> Liam will announce the final results in the morning, but after all their hard work flogging t-shirts, Roy and Una deservedly let their hair down with Sonia and 5,000 other fans. The next morning, Una and Roy return to the very stage that The Wanted performed on to discover who will be going head-to-head -head with Sonia to become Music Inc. champion. Now, there were three elements to this challenge that we were looking at. Firstly, there was your T-shirt design, which yesterday you modelled so brilliantly. Then there was your unique product, which you pitched to The Wanted. Now, they may have chosen Sonia's, but we wanted to see who the public liked as well. And finally, there was your sales task, the T-shirt designs. The Wanted fans voted Roy. You got 28% of the vote. And Una, you got 68% of the vote. So a clear majority on that one, Una. Your t-shirt design wins. So secondly, the fan favorite. This is based on your unique product. Of the public that we spoke to, Roy, you got 33 votes. Una. You just got three votes. So well done, Roy. Huge majority on that one. So for the remaining place in the final, it comes down to your T-shirt sales. Roy, you sold 40 T-shirts. Una, you sold 47 T-shirts. Congratulations, Una. Oh my God. With seven extra sales, you win the final place in Music Inc. It's final, like I didn't think coming into this competition that I'd be standing here. I can't stop smiling, I'm so happy that I'm true. I'm really happy with myself. I did my best and all the challenges have been amazing. I've met some like amazing people. It's just been an amazing experience. Next time, it's the Music Inc. Grand Final. Sonia and Una go head to head to win a work placement with Liam's boss, Louis Walsh. So one of you are coming to Miami with me. The finalist takes center stage. Hey, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. As they compete in the ultimate challenge, organizing a huge outdoor concert headlined by multi-million selling boy band, JLS. Oh, that was great. Yeah. They got the smoke turned off. Yeah, they're choking them. Hey, you guys have been busy. Very busy. <laughs> yeah. Before Liam decides who will become Music Inc. champion. The winner is. And you can see who's crowned Music Inc. champion in next week's final at the later than usual time of six on Monday, the 23rd of December. That's the eve of Christmas Eve. Stay with us now, though, for more news of The Wanted in 2Tube. That's on the way after the break.